guys and welcome back to another vlog. So I feel like I have not vlogged in a while. So today is currently Friday so I was going to possibly be doing overtime at work tomorrow but they don't need me which I'm actually quite glad about because, because honestly I just can't really be bothered. And I think me and Ryan are either going to go to the beach or to this farm where you can like pick fruit like strawberries, raspberries, things like that. So I thought that would be quite cute and I'll definitely vlog that. So this is my naughty purchase. I actually got woken up by my dog one day last week at five in the morning because he wanted to go out to the toilet and somehow in my, you know, asleep state, I just ended up ordering about £100 worth of makeup off Charlotte Tilbury and then when I woke up again, I was like, uh oh, you really just did that. I thought I'd show you guys a little haul. I actually do have some of these products on my face today. I've just filmed a video um, of me kind of like testing them. However, I keep putting them all back in the box. I keep taking them out to look at them, then just putting them back in the box because I want to look at them in the box. Like, is I know that's really sad, but I honestly rarely spend a lot of money on things like makeup. So when I do, I'm just like, you know, like this just looks so pretty. I don't want to take it out of the box. Anyway, the first thing I got is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I got this in the shade Too Cool. Got it on today and I think it's like an okay color match. It's probably a little bit light. I'm intrigued to see how this will wear throughout the day. I've heard a lot of people rave about this and say that it's like amazing. I mean, the pack packaging for one is just beautiful like it's one thing I will say about Charlotte Tilbury products is the packaging is really nice and it feels really weighty like it is really good quality um I'm quite a full coverage girl usually although recently I've been swaying more towards kind of natural finishes uh however I think I will always be quite a full coverage girl at heart so excited to give that a go I also picked up the blush in the shade Pillow Talk. This is just a classic. Everyone raves about this and I never used to be into blush, but I'm kind of wanting to get a bit more into blush because I think it's nice to add a bit more colour back into your complexion. So this is the shade that's in just a very natural glow and pop of colour. I then also picked up the Airbrush Flaws Finish Powder. Again, loads of people rave about this. I definitely picked up products that people rave about because, you know, you're spending a lot of money. You kind of want to know before you get it that it's good. Um, I got this in the shade Fair. Again, just the packaging, gorgeous. And then I got this, which is just absolutely enormous. I couldn't believe how big this was when I opened it. Look how big this is. Like, I will compare it with, let's say, the powder. What's the powder? Look. It's huge. I honestly never need to repurchase this. Um, again, a massive mirror, which will help so much if you do have room to take this on the go with you. I don't know if I would ever have room, to be honest, because it's just so big, but I got this in the shade medium. It was £39, so very expensive. But yeah, I thought I'd just kick this vlog off with a little bit of a Charlotte Tilbury haul. Um, but I'm gonna end the segment here because I have got to go to work very soon. So I'm now home from work. I know it kind of looks like it's the same time that it was in the previous clip, but I've been at work, I'm home. I'm so glad it's the weekend. I'm so glad that I'm not doing overtime tomorrow. So yeah, me and Ryan are gonna go to the beach and I'll show you guys what we get up to. <music> So it's now Saturday um, I've woken up and I'm feeling like a little bit rough. I don't know what is wrong with me. I just don't feel quite right. Like yesterday I had a really sore head and today I'm just feeling a bit ugh. So I'm really hoping that that passes because I do not want to be ill. Hey guys, so we're actually on our way to take the dogs to basically there's this like walk you can go on near where we live where it's like how many acres did you say it was? six acres of like land with really really high fences all around it so basically because we have lurchers like we can't really let them off very much because they basically just go and hunt something and that would just be horrible if they killed something so um so yeah basically mum's booked this walk for an hour where you know that it's only you and your dogs on the walk and obviously no wildlife can get in because there's a massive fence around it so i think we're going to try and take some 
clips of the dogs because they rarely, rarely get off to be honest. The only time we let them off is one other walk and then at the beach sometimes they get let off. So yeah, I think I will vlog that and hopefully get some nice clips of the dogs. guys so sorry if you can hear the rain it's like just randomly started like torrentially raining even though the forecast for today was meant to be really like sunny and nice because me and Ryan are actually going have I already said it's Sunday if you haven't already said it's Sunday it's Sunday and me and Ryan are going strawberry picking and I'm really excited I think they have like raspberries and a few other things and they have a nice farm shop so that'll be nice because I, I I really like like nice strawberries when they're nice and sweet so hopefully they'll be like that yeah I'll catch up with you guys once we get to the strawberry picking place probably we'll add in a little montage hopefully it will brighten up I'll show you guys what it's like outside this is what it's currently like it was meant to be proper like sunny and nice today but it's just a bit horrible so hopefully it's gonna brighten up guys so it's now actually friday and i don't actually know if i've vlogged at all through the week last time i vlogged might have been the strawberry farm i'm not sure but i honestly just haven't been doing anything i've just been having the most boring week at work i'm just getting ready now to go to work and then tonight i'm going food shopping so i think i'll do a haul of everything i end up getting um it's absolutely roasting today it's 25 degrees and I do not want to be in a factory in this heat, to be honest. I have ordered some pictures to go like on my desk where I used to have pictures, if you remember. Um, so hopefully they will come in pretty soon because I'm wanting to film a room tour. Um, so once they're in, I'll be able to film that. I'm kind of a bit stuck with what videos to make at the minute because as much as like I am enjoying makeup right now, I know that when I go back to uni, my content is going to be a lot more uni focused rather than makeup and I don't want to kind of end up just making makeup stuff. So I do want to film a uni related video. Um, I was thinking of doing like a, like a video, sorry for how creased this is. Yeah, I was thinking of making a video of like what uni is really like, like kind of video to help people who are not sure if uni is for them, just to give my opinion like in general, not just psychology of what it's like to go to university. So the doorbell literally just went, as I was saying, I was waiting for my prints and it is my prints. So I'm probably gonna be filming a room tour. Um, my dog just sneezed. Yeah, I'm probably going to be filming a room tour this weekend, so hopefully that'll be up next week. So yeah, I'll probably catch up with you guys when I am done with work and I am going to do a little food haul. Okay, so I'm just back from my food shop. We went to Asda, so I thought I'd just do a food haul because I haven't done like a full food haul in quite a while. I usually just show you some little bits, but I thought I'd do a full one. Just thought it might be interesting to some of you. So I picked up some Sprite for when I fancy fizzy drink. I got some snacks when I'm at work. These were on offer still. They are so good and they're only 90 calories. So if you're looking for 
a no calorie kind of snack to take to work i'd recommend them also some of the alpen light bars for work i then just got some of these 72 calorie yogurts again for a snack uh, i'm planning on baking a cheesecake this weekend so i needed to get some soft cheese mascarpone salted caramel sauce vanilla extract some rollos to go on the top needed chocolate for it some bourbons uh, i got some oreo white chocolate and some digestives if i'm feeling a bit snackish picked up of course two of my absolute favorite chai latte mix these are honestly just the best but they're not mega cheap so i probably should try and like wean myself off of them Got some soup, red pepper and Wensleydale. This is my all time favourite. And then I got this to try because it was only a pound. It's the Covent Garden potato and leek. So I thought they might be quite nice. Uh, some plum tomatoes for my salad. Got some garlic wedges. I used to get like the, the kind of, what were they? They were just kind of like uh, lightly spiced. That's them that I used to get. Got this to have tomorrow because it's Saturday tomorrow. So, you know, cheat day. I'm not really going out for tea. So I thought I would get myself this to have my tea tomorrow. Icing sugar for the cheesecake. Some sweet chilli sauce. Some sweet and sour sauce. Again, for something quick and easy after work. Got some veggie chicken slices. These are really, really nice. Good to chuck into a salad or a sandwich. Got some salmon. This is the roasted salmon slices um which are honey roasted i have not tried these yet because they are 3.99 but i thought i'd treat myself so you can have them hot or cold which i thought was quite good some halloumi which i like to kind of fry and have with veg in a wrap some mince some chewing gum some oat milk i noticed that as they start doing their own oat milk it does say new on it because they never used to do their own oat milk and i always wish that they did because this was only like 95p which is a lot better than the other brands that i usually get got some rocket for my salads rocket is my favorite kind of salad leaf peppers for my salads i got some chilies because i'm planning on making some guacamole some tomatoes again for the guacamole and onion for the guacamole got some apples to snack on i'm really fancying apples at the minute i don't know why i'm not usually a big apple fan but i watched some got a lime for the guac uh, and then some lemons i love to have lemon water every morning so i got some of them i got some corn picnic eggs i love these either as a snack or in a salad they honestly taste so realistic another thing that tastes so realistic are these the Vera plant chicken goujons these were back on offer i'd not been buying them because they weren't on offer but i saw they came back on offer so i picked some of them up got some avocados obviously for the guac then picked up some of these macro fillets and sweet chili sauce i don't know if i've ever had macro uh, i don't know if i'll like it i'm not gonna lie but i thought i'd try this be good to put in a salad some rice for like things like sweet and sour chicken stuff like that picked up some tortilla chips for the guac and then these are like my favorite crisps ever so i've got some of them and then lastly i picked up this cheese and pickle quiche because i'm obsessed with cheese and pickle sandwiches so i thought that this would be quite nice to have for lunch so yeah that's kind of everything that i got this will probably last me kind of two weeks plus um i already have quite a lot obviously in the cupboard so i didn't need to buy a huge amount but yeah this is what i got in my food shop so hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything i got hey guys i'm just doing like the most minimal makeup right now to go to work in because i just can't be bothered today like usually i will always wear makeup just because i enjoy putting it on i find it relaxing but today i'm just not feeling it so yeah, I'm doing the most minimal makeup ever. Sorry about the kind of background. I'm in the middle of doing my bed sheets, but I essentially just turned my camera on to end the vlog. I have been, the last few vlogs I've done, I've not really vlogged like a weekly vlog, like continuously. I've just vlogged whenever anything vaguely interesting has happened. And I'm not sure kind of what people prefer, like, would would people rather that I just vlogged my day-to-day -day mundane stuff or would you rather that when I do a vlog I literally just vlog anything that is like kind of interesting I don't know I think maybe next vlog I will try and make it a bit more continuous of like a weekly vlog um sorry about the spot here like honestly it's just erupted on my forehead and I just yeah no thanks please leave but yeah I just came on here to end the vlog so i hope that you guys really really enjoyed seeing what i've been getting up to in the past couple of weeks if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and i'll see you in my next video bye